Hi, I'm Mike from the School of Self-Reliance, and today we're going to talk about something that may be a little bit different to a lot of you, but we're going to talk about air rifles for prepping and survival. This one is a Beeman RS3. This one's in 177 caliber. Now, they sell these Beeman kits in 177 and 22. As a matter of fact, you can buy this rifle at Walmart for $99.95 and it comes with a 177 caliber barrel and a 22 barrel. Okay? Now the 22 is more potent. It's a heavier, uh, heavier projectile. Most people right now are probably rolling their eyes at the thought of this, you know, me saying uh, uh, an air rifle for prepping. But the truth of the matter is, is that this is perfectly capable of killing small game, uh, squirrels, rabbits, raccoons, possums, things like that. And if you put a 22 caliber barrel on it, uh, it's a 22 caliber round that's moving at about 950 feet per second. That is perfectly capable of killing a coyote or a feral hog. And if you search on YouTube, you will find gamo videos and videos from other manufacturers of them killing hogs at 35 to 65 yards with a 22 caliber pellet gun. And this is not a child's toy pellet gun, not even close. This will push this pellet at near 1300 feet per second. And we're going to show you a little bit of penetration and things like that in just a second. One of the other things about having one of these air rifles is right now there's a real shortage of 22 caliber ammunition. And I would virtually always rather recommend a 22 rifle to somebody for small game hunting. But 22 ammunition's become all but unobtainium here lately. You go to the stores, it's just not available in most places. And this is quieter than a 22 caliber rifle. It's a lot quieter. So if you're in a situation of escape and evasion, you know, uh, shit hit the fan, you know, situation X, you, you know, whatever it is without the rule of law, um, you're probably trying to hide from people. This is a lot quieter. Bow and arrow also works really well, but this is a 250 count of Crossman pellets, hunting pellets, and this is about five bucks, okay, for 250 rounds of ammo. This is a gamo ammunition, about 175 rounds of it, and it costs about five bucks. And you can carry a whole lot of ammunition in a very small space. There's 350 rounds of ammunition, or excuse me, 370, wait a minute, 300, um, 425 rounds of ammunition in a very, very small space weighs almost nothing and you can get bigger packets still. This is not a kid's gun. It actually takes quite a little bit of effort to cock this gun. It's nearly 40 pounds of cocking effort. And then to load it, it is a single shot. pellet just goes straight into the end of the barrel right there locks in and then you close the breech and some people say oh that's too slow well single action shotguns have been being used for you know over a century to hunt with and before that people were using single shot black powders and many of us still use muzzle loaders to hunt with today <laughs> so as long as you're accurate it will be fine um, and you'll get faster on reloading it um, one other word on air guns. High-powered air guns, air guns that really truly perform that are not kids' toys have been being used in Europe uh, for decades as actual hunting weapons and with fabulous, fabulous results. But we'll go shoot this in just a second. We're going to shoot this at a white uh, PCB barrel. Pretty hard plastic. It's getting on to a quarter of an inch thick. This is a distance of right about 25 feet. This gun also has a safety that comes on automatically. It's right there. It comes on automatically when you cock it. 
right here is our impact point. If we look inside, there's where our pellet came through. It went all the way through. And it actually caused a small uh, deformation in the other side, but it did not penetrate. As you can tell, I've shot it a couple of other times here, so I already knew it was going to blast right through. But that is more than sufficient to go right into the skull of a small animal, uh, like a squirrel, a coon, possum, something like that. We'll go ahead and we'll shoot this a couple more times with a couple other types of pellets. Uh, he's been shooting for about twice the distance he was shooting just a minute ago. <laughs> that was some what? What? See? What? And bell. Now I was shooting right for this rib, and right there is one of my rounds. I missed by a little bit right there, but this dark spot was what I was shooting for right in the center of this rib, and those are two of my shots. And as you can see, at a distance of 50 feet, they still came right through. No trouble at all. So easily capable of killing small game. Okay, he's shooting from 80 feet again. Gonna try and hit this beer can. And he nailed it. Awesome. Well, anyway, my last word on these is that I think they're a heck of a value and a great investment for survival or prepping. You can use these with your kids, get your family involved in shooting. Uh, in outdoor activities. It's also pretty safe for the little guys to learn to shoot with and hunt with. But I think all around this is a great investment. It's quiet. It's capable of killing the type of game that you need to sustain yourself in an emergency or survival situation. And they're legal in basically all 50 states. You can carry it around and the law says that this is nothing more than a child's toy. Well, the fact is it isn't. And it would be good for every survival or prepper, I think, to have one of these in their inventory to feed themselves in an all hell breaks loose scenario. And like I said, they're quiet. Remember that. Again, I'm Mike with the School of Self-Reliance. If you like what we do, like us on Facebook, watch our videos, share our videos. Thanks for watching. Okay, we're shooting at about 80 feet. He's gonna try and hit this pot can. And he hit it. Oh.